For all the latest headlines and information, tune in the Sports Center on ESPN Radio all throughout the day. Mina Kimes is in with us. Uh, Red Fu, as Stugatz told you, of LMFAO will be on with us to talk tennis at 1230. Uh, but getting back to that danger zone that you were just uh, playing there, there is no way that that song makes you feel good immediately still. Does it just because it makes you think of that movie? Yes or no? Good. It's an amazing song. It's an incredible alive, song. Man. Kenny Loggins is the greatest soundtrack singer-songwriter yes. in the history of music. No doubt. Yes. Mike, I was doing that gesture uh, with my fingers. I was pantomiming because I, I learned how to play the trumpet with Danger Zone. So my memory of listening to that song is playing the trumpet. I so badly wish we had a trumpet right now. (laughs) It's a really easy song to play. (laughs) Um, You guys think that if I ask the audience whether Danger Zone owns uh, uh, stands up? Allison just muttered, Allison got a trumpet. (laughs) (laughs) But seriously, get a trumpet. (laughs) No, we need one by one. Um, Oh, trumpet, you said. Okay, we're good there. Mina Kimes with us on ESPN uh, (laughs) Radio. (laughs) Can you tell us uh, Top Gun, the trailer to Top Gun? You were watching it during the break. Yes, I had not watched the trailer. I have seen the movie. Okay, I have. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I have seen it. No, no, no. There's no way you've seen Top Gun. You've got a history. You've got a history of lying about these things. Um, Well, she lies because she likes to be part of the conversation. She feels she feels left out of movie conversations. And what you're doing right now, by the way, there is no way you've seen this. Briefly recap Top Gun. For sure. It's been a while. But haven't you been able to fake your way through some movie plots with very vague knowledge? Let's see. Let's see. (laughs) <laughs> All right. I this will tell you the things. truth at the end. Okay, so it's been a very long time since I've seen Top Gun for obvious reasons, but I will do my best to recall it. So you've got Maverick, Tom Cruise, Goose, who I don't remember the actor. Anthony Edwards. Eh, yeah. Yeah. Iceman, uh, Val, Val Kilmer. Kilmer. Nice. Stunning at the time. And mm-hmm. then uh, Kelly something played the woman in, in your eyes. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So in obviously eyes. the movie is about... Uh, fighter pilots and who are fighting MIGs and Russian something or the other. Well, they're ambiguously evil. Yeah, you know, they're Russian. And, and the, pre- <laughs> the, the question is, who's going to be the top gun? And in the end, it's Tom Cruise. He beats Iceman. It's really good. I mean, I think she... Mike, well, Maverick's think dangerous. She got us some MIGs, though. Right, do you, you know. Do you know, who, do you know who Maverick's kind of mentor was in the movie? Oh, do you um, I want to guess Kirk Douglas. But I don't remember. Well, I know is uh, the 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 guy running the Top Gun Academy was Tom Skerritt, was yes. it not? Oh, yes. Tom Skerritt, yes. yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But in the in the trailer, it seems as though Tom Skerritt has been replaced with By Ed Harris. Ed Harris, yes, mm-hmm. playing Ed Harris. Can I tell you how much I love the phrase "ambiguously evil"? The idea of just an ambiguously evil. <laughs> like, we, we, we don't know. We really what didn't kind get a great evil. explanation as to what know. they were doing there either. I thought I thought this was an America. It was about who could be the top gun. I told you. Yeah, but they were Very just. Clear. I think what was their their logos were just like black with a red star. Mm. Oh, the bad guys. The yeah, Migs. the bad guys. Mig is all I remember. There's a famous scene in talk. which they're playing a particular sport. Do you remember all the all the fighter pilots? Do you remember volleyball? You ask with a question? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long. I, was I feel like very she knows young. though. I feel yeah. like she has actually seen it. What so, song do they sing in the bar? Uh, not Danger Zone. <laughs> not Take My Breath Away. Not Take My Breath Away. That's with him and the woman. Um, I don't remember. What do you, uh, what do you like about the trailer beyond it's well, they, the Top they, Gun trailer? They, it's <laughs> number one, they do this thing. Anytime you Everything. do a, a remake, a reimagining, or a sequel, the key is yes. to take the original score and slow, slow it, it down. down. Yeah. Or add a children's choir. But yes, yes. you're right. Then yeah. I, I will, no matter what, you could take any song, any song, Who Let the Dogs Out? Uh, what is LMFAO's song? Red Foo's coming up. Oh. I'm in Miami. Yeah, okay. Any song. <laughs> you, could, you could slow it down, and I would get chills. That would be a challenge. <laughs> Any song? Well, I think they could do it. Do you like, want to try, do you try with, it with Who Let the Dogs Out? I'm in Miami, out? trick. Who let the dogs out? Like, you get chills <laughs> yeah. watching a trailer. Like it, Let's say it's like a, a, yeah. Like a haunting. Like a werewolf movie. It could work. Honestly, it could. <laughs> like a horror movie yeah, about werewolves with Who Let the Dogs Out super slowed down. So it's been 30 years of service for Maverick, and he is still just a captain. 
He hasn't been promoted. He's amounted to nothing. Why? Right? Right. Even though he's the only fighter pilot to shoot down three planes in the last Migs. 15 years. Yeah. Got the MIGs. Yeah, but he's amounted to nothing. And Mike, did you see the scene? The motorcycle is back. <laughs> Dan, there's a scene in which he goes to a garage oh my God. and he takes the sheet off Oof. his old hog. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tom Cruise, the, the motorcycle. Man, has not aged a day, still doing his own stunts. Do you think he's flying the planes? Absolutely. What? He flew the helicopter in Fallout. Wow. Mike, there's a shirtless Tom Cruise with a football in his hand. Yeah, they're playing football <laughs> now, not volleyball. <laughs> Wait, was it actually volleyball? Was I right? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you? Yeah, you yeah. faked it. Yeah, she did. No, I've seen the movie. Mm-hmm. I just, you know. Yeah, I remember it was, was by the beach. It was near. It was near yeah. here, right? Yeah, it was beach volleyball, and uh, Iceman looked at, checked out his watch while he was shirtless, and it was just a flex. <laughs> it was just a flex. Didn't Tom Cruise? Do I have this wrong? When he was jumping up and down on the couch with Oprah and Scientology and stuff, did Tom Cruise not have a period where we felt like it was going to be done, and then mm. he came back at the end of Tropic Thunder? Do I have this wrong? Yes. Do I, do I have my memory of this wrong? It felt like Tom Cruise was about <laughs> to go away. You do because you ignore. About about three Mission Impossible movies. Yes. Each better than the last. Mike. They keep I don't know getting better. How They're is so this? good. Wait a second. I've seen them. No, I watched them no, on the planes. first one's the best. But... Uh, Ghost no, Protocol, Fallout. Rogue Fallout. Nation, Fallout. Each one a better modern than the classic. Last. Mm-hmm. Better than the last. They're incredible films. Mm-hmm. It should have been nominated for Best Picture. That's not me like being sarcastic or anything like that. I know sometimes I like tout action movies. Mission Impossible Fallout should have been nominated. You for said best it's Picture. the best action movie of all time, it, and it, and yeah. you weren't prote- you weren't taking second places. No, that's until Maverick uh, came out. But what are you talking? This lull in Tom uh, Cruise's career. What are you talking? about? I, I felt, never felt that for one it, second. It's a perceived lull by Dan. Meanwhile, Tom Cruise is out here still pulling out banger after banger after banger, night and day. While you don't get the, oh, the whole Cameron deal Diaz. with Cameron Diaz and yeah. Tom Cruise. They had a chemistry that jumped off the screen. Jack Reacher. How and o- Jack Reacher too. How old is he now? 57? 58? Ageless. Wilford Brimley's age in Cocoon. <laughs>